Well, thank you, Eric. And uh, I'm inspired by this evening. Um, I'm not a, as you say, I'm probably not an eloquent speaker, but I'm a person that firmly believes in everything that I've heard. And basically, I work with young people. And so my message to any young person is success is not given to you, it's learned. My son is not by chance the best sophomore in the city by accident. It's because he has a good teacher, his father. And there's a lot of other young men that probably could be just as good. Now I use basketball as an example for the simple fact that that's something we shared together. I was good at it, and I learned how to play from my grandfather. And my grandfather was from Alabama. He didn't know much about basketball, but he saw I had an interest, so he went out there and threw the ball to me, and I began shooting it. And he told me when I was very young, he said, Andre, you can be as great as you want to be, or you can be as lousy as you want to be. There's three things in life that you must always remember. Put God first, work as hard as you can work, and stay away from negative people. And now, as I work with young people and people see me out in the community and in schools, my message is the same thing to young people. You can accomplish and you can be whatever it is you want to be in life. You know, I often look at people and, and talk to them and they talk about Michael Jordan and they talk about me and they say, well, you didn't get to where Michael Jordan was at. And I said, well, the Lord didn't want me to go where Michael Jordan was at. You know, I ended up playing all over the world. I've been everywhere. I've been a very successful basketball player, made lots of money, got to see a lot of things. But I ended up here in Fort Wayne playing with the Fury. When my son was in the sixth grade, I was ready to pack up, and he said, Dad, I want to stay here. And I said, why do you want to stay here? He said, this is the place for us. And at that time, I felt that was God speaking to me through my son, saying, this is where you must stop. And now, as I walk the streets and I share this message with young people, they look at me and they say, Andre, why are you doing the things that you do? I don't do it for money. You know, I don't do it for fame. I don't do it for to see myself in the newspaper, for people to pat me on the back. It's just something that was inherent to me. It was something that was given to me. It wasn't in a book. It was a little old man out of Alabama that told me, Andre, when you see someone in need, help them out. And so that's sort of the pattern of, of my life. Now, what I will share with young people is, you know, you need to look inside yourself. Decide what you want to be, who you want to be. You know, I take great exception to what the gentleman said about, you know, finding someone local to be your mentor. Because I believe in mentors. Because you need someone to talk to. You need someone to guide you. And that person may not be your parent. It could be a neighbor. Right. It could be an upperclassman. It could be, it doesn't have to be a man if you're a boy, and it doesn't have to be a, girl, a, a woman if you're a girl. It's just somebody you identify with and you look up to. Right. You know, it's funny when you come to things like this, and I look at the young people, and I look at this young lady here, and she's drawing, and I have this envision, you know, what is she going to become? Well, I had the same vision for my son. And every time I open the newspaper, as I open the newspaper this evening, and I see this picture, and they say these things about him, and everyone says, aren't you proud of him? And I said, I was always proud of him before he got in the newspaper. <laughs> and it was never that I never expected to see him in the newspaper. And actually, to be honest, when the coach tell me sometimes, don't you think you're being a little hard on your son? And I said, no, my son has dreams, he has goals, and he has expectations, and he can reach those. Now, what your dreams and your goals and expectations may be for this young man is something different, but he's great, you know? And the coach looked at me and he said, he's before his time. And I said, 
No, he's not before his time. He has his priorities right. I said, you know, my son, he, I watch him get up in the morning. And he says, Dad, I love you. And he go to bed at night and he says, Dad, I love you. And it's not a day go by that he doesn't tell me he loved me and I love him. And then there's not a day go by that he says, Dad, when I get rich, I'm going to open this building up for you to work with young people and because our house is like a recreation center. And I said, son, I said, son, I want you to open up a house for yourself if that's what you want to do. Dad is doing what he wants to do. All I want you to understand is that you could be the next Michael Jordan. You could be the next president. You could be the next uh, uh, agent that they have here, Parker. You can be whatever you want to be. You're 15 years old. I said, in 15 years from now, you'll be what it is that you want to be if you do three things right. And those three things was the same three things that my grandfather told me. It's the same things that I share with every young man in this community. You know, and there's no secret to success. Amen. There's only one pattern. That's dedication and discipline and loving the Lord and accepting and knowing what it is you want to be, and you'll be that. Simple solution, simple philosophy, and you can do exactly what it is you want to do. Thank you.